Carlissa speaks on the mismanagement of seating arrangements at the Baddies Caribbean premiere. Why you ain't tell us it was me, Paul Mama? If you paying me to fight, I'll pull up. But I'm not about to be arguing with nobody about no, about no free shit, about no seat no more. Now, if her mama want them to, to set it up to where we can fight, old bitches want to fight over a seat, we can fight. I ain't never scared to fight. But I'm not about to be going back and forth with you about no seat. I don't want to sit next to you. I want to sit next to my husband. I didn't even know that lady. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. They look just alike. I got glaucoma, bitch. I, I, if I ain't got no glasses on, I don't know what I look like. You think I'm just looking at some random people? I'm not just looking at random people. I'm looking at my daughter. I'm trying to enjoy the moment. I'm about to watch my daughter on big screen. I'm about to sit here and watch my daughter on big screen be Callie Way on today. I didn't want to. I don't care about that. Them people. I even apologized to the lady. I said, oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Y'all was on the live. I'm not doing that again. Y'all was on that live. I apologized to that lady and even said sorry. I could have had her put out the whole shit. <laughs> Let's just be real about it. But I was nice. I was like, oh, my bad. I didn't know you was one of the baddies mom. That's okay if they want to cloud chase. I don't care, but don't be putting no no extra like on it. I'm, I'll add her to the restraining order too. And just so y'all know, the restraining order is not because I'm scared. My restraining order is because when I go to wear a mother out, it's, it's on paperwork. That's how I roll. My daddy said, put the put a tell tell the teacher. Y'all know how the parents tell you to do at school. My daddy said, tell the teacher that they bothering you and put it on the paper. Then that way, when you turn around and do what I taught you to do, it ain't no problem. So if somebody bothering y'all just because you go get a restraining order, don't that don't mean you scared. That just means you want the white people to know when you tear this shit up why you did it. That's what the po that's what the restraining order is for. I ain't no gang member. I roll solo dolo. Y'all seen me and my husband get active on bad versus wild. We get up and handle our shit all by ourselves. I ain't scared. I'm just telling you when the shit go down, I'm not about to be, I'm not about to be doing no bail money. Oh, the bail money. I already told you these motherfuckers was jiggity. So here we go. Take them. I see you at what you need me to do at the courthouse. I'll be down there. Now that's how you do it. Especially with, you got to put these motherfuckers on restraining orders. And I don't even got to serve them or nothing. I just, I just go down there and tell the white what I say because I know the white people down there that I know everybody everywhere I've been telling y'all I've been out here 30 years I know my mama section 8 worker and she don't even know I know I know Krishan Rock's football coach many many years my, my one of my besties is his sister I know everybody in this motherfucking California yay. I talk to everybody y'all see how much I talk I know all the coaches all the cooks I know everybody at the jail. I know everybody at the courts. I know everybody everywhere. I'm making my business to know everybody. Shit, you better be talking to these people. How bad my kids was growing up. Girl, I need to know the mayor. I need to know everybody in this motherfucker because Andre is a hot mess. Callie out here right behind them. And, they, and, and Blue... Wait, he was a little a little far behind him, but now here his ass come. Girl, and we you would never catch me in Philly. Why the fuck would I ever come to Philly fucking Delphi? I'm a California bitch. I, you wouldn't catch me in that motherfucker for no reason in life. <laughs> no reason. You'd have to come over here. I wouldn't give a fuck if they told me we booking you a deal, bitch. I'm not going to fucking Philly. It'll get turned down. What the fuck is you talking about? 
That's like saying, come to Detroit. <laughs> Girl, I'm not going. Some places I just don't got to go, ain't going to go, won't go. And Philadelphia is one of them. And I know people in Philadelphia, too. I know people in Philadelphia, too. I got a couple of niggas out there, too. Stop playing with yourself. Stop playing with yourself. I done been out there with a couple football players, too. Right, what I'm, that's like me going to Detroit or Kentucky. What in the f would I ever go there for? <laughs> come to Philly. Come to Kentucky. No, you come over here. There's places on the map that I don't even know that are there. I got people in Jersey. I with Jersey. Y'all got a couple clothing spot I'm, uh, spots I done been to over there. Now that's a little different. She talking about Philly. What I'm going to do down there? Go come to Philly and go to the mall? <laughs> I'm going to go do some shopping in Philly? <laughs> what we going to do? Come come buy a car in Philly? What the f*** we going to do in Philly? Not a goddamn thing. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.